Welcome to our video tutorial for adding Google Login to your website registration, allowing single sign-on for simple registration. In this video, we'll cover how to log into a Google Developer account, how to create a new project, how to navigate to the OAuth consent screen and credentials, and how to add your app ID and app secret to your iHouseLE website. And with that, let's get started. Your first step will be to visit console.developers.google.com. This will be linked in the description below. Sign in with your Google account. Type in your Google account email and password. After signing in, you will first be prompted to agree to the Google Cloud Platform Terms of Service. After this, it should default you to API and Services dashboard, but if not, navigate to Enable API and Services found here. From the API and Services dashboard, you'll want to click on Create Project found here. Provide a name for your project, you can use the default generated name or provide one yourself if desired. Below this is your project ID. This can be changed if desired as well, but we'll provide a project ID by default. And for the last field, you can select no organization and then press create found here. This should return you to the dashboard where you will want to look in the left side column and navigate to OAuth consent screen. From the OAuth consent screen, you'll want to select external and then create. It will then walk you through the next steps, the first being app information. In step one, complete the app information by entering a name for your app. To keep things simple, it's probably best to just name this after your website where the sign on will be used. After that, enter a contact email. This is the email that will be used for users to contact you with questions about their consent if needed. You can add a logo if desired, but it's not required. Scrolling down on the page, you'll find the next section, App Domain. Here you'll want to link the full URL of your website, including HTTPS. This is easiest by visiting your website and copying the URL from the address bar. Next, we'll need to add a privacy policy link. This can be found by visiting the home page of your website. Scrolling down to the footer of your website and clicking Privacy Policy. Copy the URL from this page, including the HTTPS, and place this under Application Privacy Policy Link. After that is Terms of Service, which is optional. Next is Authorized Domains. Here you can place the simple version of your URL. After this is Developer Contact Information. This is the email Google will use to contact you about changes to your project. After this, at the bottom, you can click Save and Continue. In step two is scopes. No action is needed under scopes. Scroll down and press save and continue. In step three is test users. No action is needed under test users. Scroll down and press save and continue. In step four is the summary. Review your information and then you can scroll down and press back to dashboard. The next section we'll need to complete is credentials. In the sidebar to the left, locate credentials found here. Under Credentials, we'll want to create our new credentials. To do so, click Create Credentials found here, and then OAuth Client ID to start the process. Set the application type from the drop-down menu to Web Application. This will reveal the next needed fields. For the first field, Name, you can use the default name that is generated or change it if desired. This is only used to identify the client in the console and will not be shown to end users as noted. Next, we have Authorized JavaScript Origins. Click to add, and then enter the full URL, including the HTTPS. Scroll down and press Create, found here. You'll be notified that the OAuth client has been created and a summary will be displayed. You can make note of your client ID and client secret now. Alternatively, we will cover how to view this again in just a moment. To view your client ID and client secret again, navigate to Credentials in the side door menu. On the left, Click Credentials. From Credentials, click the name of your client, found here. You will then see a summary of your web application. This will display your client ID found here and your client secret found here. You'll need to copy and paste these under your iHouse Web Elite Admin menu. To do so, visit your iHouse Web Admin menu. From your Admin menu, locate Integrations in the sidebar and click it. Under Integrations, you'll see Social Login found here. Click Social Login. Once you're under social login, 
check the box for include Google single sign-on for simple registration. If you do that, you will see the area to enter your app ID and app secret. Copy and paste in your app ID and app secret and press save settings. It'll notify you that you've saved your settings at the top of the screen. To check this, return to the homepage of your website in a new private window or just by logging out and then pressing sign up. You, as well as anyone registering with your website, will now see the option to register using a Google single sign-on, and with that, you should be all set. And that concludes our tutorial on setting up Google single sign-on for simple registration. If you'd like to learn more, please feel free to check out our other videos on our channel. Subscribing to our channel will get you updates and tutorials about our new features and improvements as they're released. But most importantly, if you'd need help or just have questions, please let us know. We'd be more than happy to help you. Give our elite service team a call at 866-645-7700. We're open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time.